location for the industries and which places are important for the places where the raw material is available first thing it is very important for setup of any industry where the raw material is available or maybe the components parts also available the another one that important things for the factors productions which are the land labor capital and the entrepreneur the infrastructures all it is important so wherever these important things will be available that place will be the important to set up the industry but if this industry is set up and the transport facility will be not available then how the raw material can be reached at that place and from that place to where from that place to the factory so the transport facilities carry the raw material to the factory and then the prepared goods manufactured goods it's need to supply and it means the products these products also need the transport but where it need to transport it need to transport to yes it need to transport towards the market and from the market what we get we get the money we get the money again this money where it will be used it will be used as a capital for the inputs so this is the important things for the locations now with the example you have to yesterday i have given you the question and the question it was the what do you understand by the agglomeration economy and another one question also i have told you that how the industrialization and urbanization go hand in hand the place where the industries it set up then the which things it's needed it's needed there the land labor capital these are very important then again it's also needed the transport it means the roadways and if these services will be available then from the government side the government also provide the banking facilities the insurance facilities the transport from the government side also labor already they are available then there the consented the financial advice everything it will be available wherever the industries it need to be set up or maybe in the any urban centers these facilities are available so the industry when its facilities are available then these places it is chosen by the industrialist to set up the industry and the places will develop as the urban center then obviously due to the industrialization the place will be as the urbanization urban center and another way you may say wherever the urban centers that these facilities are available then industrialists will attracted with these facilities and used to set up the industry and the two example it's very famous place delhi the urban center and this urban center these facilities already available so lot of industries are set up in delhi and in jamshedpur there due to the industry the place it developed as the urban center and an, one another thing what happened due to these industries the many other industries also they ready to fulfill the their materials 
for example the at presently wherever you are sitting i think you are easily see the fan and this fan its motor it is this motor it is manufactured in the factory but their other equipments whatever it needed it is not manufactured then from where it's manufactured in the other industries and where these industries it is manufactured it means the many industry come together tend together and they mix the use of the advantages offered by whom offered by the urban centers when the urban centers have these such facilities the banking facilities insurance facilities transport facilities all these facilities are available and due to this the many industries tend to come together and use the advantages and develop the economic condition this is known as the agglomeration economies so the large industrial agglomerations take place in the developed town or the set city so large industrial agglomeration it take place and it take time also because suddenly it can't be possible and in the pre independence period the manufacturing units were located in the place from the point of view of the overseas and it was the places uh, mumbai kolkata or chennai and due to the trade it was developed and then they are emerged in the certain pockets of the industrially developed urban center this time you have the idea more number of people they were migrated from the different places earlier they were working in the industry and they migrated because of the shutdown so what it shows that these places the agglomerations they are the industrial agglomeration and surrounded by the huge agriculture and ruler hinterland what it means it means they are the it also need the food items the people they are leaving obviously they need their the uh, labors and they also need the food items related to uh, survival goods it is available so it is the developed place and then that place is the ideal location for the setup of any industry this is important thing now we have to discuss about the different type of the industries we are seeing as the locations the here you may see the cost of obtaining raw material at site the cost of distribution of production then decision to locate factory at site cost of production at site it is so that the what the so that the this place is the ideal location of setup of industry but as for the different various industry manufacturing of the products it's classified in the different categories because at presently you are using the study material in the study material what you are seeing some notebook book pen pencil eraser all it is a different type and even from early in the morning you have taken the food but for the preparation of the food breakfast it need the different edible materials and may be related to the vegetable oils so all it is manufactured and while you are sitting on the chair then it is also manufactured so as per their the different type of their the categories their industries it is classified and based on the particular certains there to understand 
how it is differentiate how we can understand that the manufacturing it may be developed or who oh, open who become the industrialist or who may set up the industry on this different type of the goods the industries it depend on where the different classification the classifications on the basis of the raw material when we use the raw material any raw material you like it in the breakfast you may immediately tell me the name any one name you haven't the idea chapati if i am right chapati am i audible or not yes chapati okay so the chapati it is the flour wheat flour it is the wheat flour or maybe you have taken the bread then they are also the wheat flour so this flour it is manufactured in the industry and it needs the raw material it needs the raw material this raw material from where we get it from the agriculture so this is the agro based industry and this industry not only the wheat flour it is the agro based industry the rubber the sugar the tea coffee or for the edible oil all it is from the raw material we get it from the agriculture so it is the agro based industry next one it is the mineral based industry mineral based industry it is the industry where the raw material we get it from the minerals maybe the mineral while you are sitting on the chair you need for uh, not you those they carpenter need to manufacture needs the nail nail then that nail where it is manufactured in the factory and for this manufacturing of nail it need the mineral and even a small needle that you are using it is also related with the mineral the vehicles it is also near related with the minerals the cement the house that it is it is also related with the mineral based so on the basis of the raw material how many categories two categories agro based and the mineral based write the question yes ask the question yes 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 four yes of course four type Ag forest based animal based mineral based yes on the basis of raw material but here only the two category yes why it is i am explaining you forest based or the agro based both it is jointly known as the agro based is it clear and even the animal based also it is also joined with the agro based now why it is so because animal need the rearing places pasture, pasture land and then it is depend on the agriculture forest the cultivation it is the part of the agriculture and directly the cultivated of the raw material it is also related with the agriculture so it is on the basis of a raw material the three one that you have studied in the standard 8 that the animal based forest based or agro based combinedly it is known as the agro based is it clear is it yes and the next one is the mineral based now the question you have to write that on the basis of raw material the industry divide in uh, classified into which and how many categories the next one question according to the main role the industry classified into how many categories now the basic or the key industry 
basic or the key industry what do you mean by the basic industry basic industry when the industry supply the products as a raw material again i am explaining with you your locality near about the our uh, school there the mithila floor mill mithila floor mill what it is supply it supplied the floor for whom for supply for the chapati but not only the chapati this floor mill also supply the raw materials for the biscuit for cake or for the chocolates also there the floor uh, quantity it needed so all it is as this it is the raw material it means maybe it is directly or maybe the indirectly but another one example for the iron and steel industry the iron and steel industry it produces the iron and steel and this product is utilized for the manufacturing of machines and this iron and steel industry it is their product is used as a raw material to the other industry so it is known as the basic industry so note down the question why iron and steel industry is known as the basic or key industry i think you have noted the question now the next one next one is the consumer industry yes of course the next uh, the question is why iron and steel industry known as the basic or key industry why iron and steel industry or copper smelting known as the basic or key industry the next question is the consumer industry consumer industry that while you need to use the sugar sugar it is manufactured and with the use of the uh, sugar cane and directly we purchase the sugar so the industry which finish product directly consumed by the consumer then that industry is known as the consumer industry if the industry is there chocolate it is produces and it is sure for the first choice by the children as if i think sometime for me also i also like to eat the chocolates so it is very good that the consumer they directly consume the product from the industry that industry is known as the consumer industry the next one is the i think no confusion the next one on the basis of the capital investment on the basis of basis of the capital investment there are the two type of the industry small scale industry and the large scale industry the small scale industry <laughs> it means less than 1 crore and if it is the large scale industry then more than the 1 crore is it clear so this is the small scale industry and the large scale industry it's the very simple on the investment of the capital next one on the basis of the ownership again write the question on the basis of ownership industry classified into how many categories public sector private sector joint sector cooperative sector now one by one i am explaining you this industry firstly the public sector on the basis of the ownership anyone akshara can you reply public sector yes yes 
well yes very good the public sector industry owned by the government it means the rules regulations and ownership of the government agencies and not only for their uh, attentions for the production their attentions for the overall development then it is the public sector uh, industry and maximum time what happen the public they have never think about the government facilities and they misuse this such type of the things another one the private sector industry private sector industry uh, example reliance in your book it is mentioned the tesco or the bajaj but i am saying you the reliance why because the jio all you have the idea about the jio it is in the private sector and reliance sector also so this industry owned by the individual or maybe the group and what they think about sometimes maybe they think about for the public but maximum time they think about their own benefit and it's the industry run by their the individual or the group the examples given in your book next one the joint sector joint sector the industry which are jointly run by the state and the individual group of the individuals it means there the investment by the public and investment by the government as the petrol <coughs> oil refineries their joint uh, their the joint sector may be for the benefit the share it is so oil india limited it is the jointly owned by the public and the private and you have to understand better understand that the petrol pump wherever it sit the you have seen the indian oil the hindustan the different how it is because they are the joint effort from the government and from the private privately it is so it is the important to know next one the cooperative sector cooperative sector it is very important to understand that the producer and the supplier both they are equally responsible for the benefit or for the loss why because when the producer will timely produce the goods and supply to the factories then in the factories the resources can be used and then the profit or loss they have to think about example the sugar industry the sugar industry need the sugar cane and if it will be delayed to supply the sugar cane to the industries it loses the the sucrose and then the production will be reduced then it will be in the loss and an, another one example the choir industry coconut there the Uh, oil there the crush material i think all you have seen the coconut when they complete related to this industry it is set up especially in kerala then the joint effort if it will be dry then it is no more use it is the joint sector now another one on the basis of the bulk and the weight the raw material and the finished good it is the industry and in this they are the heavy industry this is the iron steel and the light industry the light industry it mean the raw materials or the products light goods and the electric appliances maximum time not appliances but the bulb it is the light weight so it is the important thing for the on the basis of the ownership the on the basis of their the raw material on the basis of the main role and the on the basis of their the capital investment and on the basis of the weight so your activity question is also given you have to complete this activity question 
and next day you have to sew now it's time 